Hello everyone, welcome back to the monthly class of the astrology signs, the astrology of you and me. So this month, it's a very, very special month. Yes, you hear me say that every time about the month, which is very special month. But this month, the month of Virgo, we are talking to today about the sign of Virgo, the month of September, the planet Mercury, and the sixth house, which represents the sign of Virgo in the chart and the month of Elul, as we call it in Aramaic. It's an extremely, extremely important month, as we call it the month of cleansing, the month of repentance. This is the one month, this is the 30 days before the big day, which is the Kabbalistic New Year, which is starting this year at the end of, of September, beginning of October, which will be the month of Libra. And we will talk about it uh, also next month. But let's come back and focus, Virgo love very much a focused uh, conversation. They don't like people going, you know, everywhere in their mind. They like to be focused. They like to, to finish what they start and they like to go until the end. So, I, you know, I always start with an interesting fact before going into details about the Virgo, the month of Virgo, the planet, the sixth house, and things like that. And today I have a story about one of my students that happened many, many years ago. He was a Virgo. But this is why I choose to say the story. Of course, obviously, for obvious reasons, I cannot say the name and all the details, but he, was, he is one of my students and he traveled many years ago in Asia. For some reason, on the day that he was supposed to come back, they took him out of the flight. Something happened. They, 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 you know, they told him to go out of the flight. He, he didn't have money. He didn't have, he was there in one, you know, one of those countries in Asia and he, you know, he had enough money to pay the hotel for the night and to try to find out how he would go back home, right? So by coincidence, which I'm, I'm saying in, in a laughing way, because we know that there is no coincidence, it doesn't exist coincidence, everything has a purpose, everything has a, has a lesson that the light, the creator, the universe, the energy, the cosmos wants to taught us. So this guy had, you know, ran the room in, next to the airport in the hotel and find out that in this hotel there was a gambling casino. And he said, you know what, why not? Let's try my luck and let's see how, I, you know, I, I can win a little bit of dollars to pay my ticket back. So he prepared himself by, he bought, uh, he went to the casino and bought a $5 chip. That's what he has left in his pocket five or ten dollars, so he said, you know, I buy a five dollar chip. He bought the five dollar chip and he went into inside the casino. The only place that was available to play, to gamble, to sit or whatever it is, was next to a sheikh. And you know, those sheikh, you know, they, they, they display their wealth, right? So this sheikh, he explained to me, was full of diamond, rings, earrings, brooch, whatever it was, he was full of diamonds, Armani suit, very, very, very well presented. So my student was very, like, a, 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 um, how can I say, maybe uh, nervous or, or, or didn't think, you know, he had the, 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 the energy or the capacity to sit next to someone like that. So, but there was no other place to gamble. Everything was full. So he said, you know what? Let me sit next there, next to him. So he sat next to the sheikh. Of course, the sheikh looked at him in a very, you know, superior way. And the sheikh, of course, has a slack of a stack of, 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 uh, of um, all the money to bet, right? So, so what happened, you know, all, of all the chips, so the sheikh started to bet and obviously he put thousands of pounds, of dollars, whatever the money was there, to bet. And my student put his $5 chip. The sheikh looked at him and said, is it a joke? So my student said, no, it's not a joke, this is what I have. So the sheikh started to scream at him, 
if you want to bet, you have to bet like a man and you have to do it properly and you have this and you have that, really got a huge, you know, like a big lesson from the share. So my son say, listen, he start to mumble, he say, listen, I don't have money. I, I was kicked out of a, of a flight. I don't even have money to buy a flight back. And that's what I have. So let me bet this. So, you know, to make the long, sto the long story short, the share pull, push towards him a stack of chips, maybe hundreds and hundreds of dollars. So the, my students say, no, I don't want. And he push it back. And the share said, no, if you want to bet, bet like a man and do it. Don't understand. Understand me and my students put it back and like this for maybe a few minutes until the share say, don't you get it? Do it and enjoy the, 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 the gift and enjoy. Maybe you will win. And at the end, my student took the, the stack of all the chips back and guess what? He won. He won big time, thousands of pounds and thousands of pounds. So, you know, the, the rest of the, of, the, of the story, you can imagine what happened, buy his ticket back home and things like that. But why I'm telling the story? This student was a Virgo and still is a Virgo. Virgo people, they don't think they deserve. They don't think they can be happy. They don't think that can receive gifts like that. And the lesson here is like the universe, particularly this month, especially especially this month, especially from the next 30 days, 30 day, from the new moon of Virgo to the new moon of Libra, those 30 days, please, please, please open your eyes, open your ears, open your senses, open anything that can make you see, listen, think outside of the box, outside of the norm, outside of the guilt that the, that, that trap the Virgo into a prison. And even if we are not a Virgo sign, we feel that, believe me, we will feel that this month of being trapped into those emotions. I'm not enough good. I'm not enough worth it. I'm not enough uh, 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 this and that, whatever it was. This is a big lesson, this story. The light sent this man. The only place you think it's a coincidence that the only place available to sit and to gamble was next to this sheikh? And do you think a coincidence this sheikh was there at that moment? No, the light always send us the right person or the right solution or to help us be at the right place at the right time. We reject that most of the time. So the lesson with this story, and as an astrology fact, this is exactly what we need to be open this month. It's such an important, important lesson. You've got to see yourself a winner this month. Not a loser like Virgo usually think, but a winner. But also the other side of the coin, it's you, but at the same time, not to be desperate for it. If this guy was desperate to win and this, maybe the sheikh would have even not offered him all the stack of chips, right? But because he saw him, he was not desperate. He was in need, but he was not desperate. So the sheikh, the sheikh from the light, from the universe, got the feeling, okay, I'm going to help this man. I'm going to help him, help him bet. And he won. He won big time. That's how the light work. Be aware this month. This is a very, very specific month for cleansing. And we we're going to see, we're going to see as we're talking now about the month of Virgo. And happy birthday, by the way, to all the Virgos out there. You know, like all the Virgos, they love to be perfect, right? So we will go, we will talk about Virgos when we get to the sign of Virgo. Now we're talking about the month of Virgo. Virgo is ruled by the planet Mercury. Mercury ruled two signs, Virgo and Gemini. This is why you can see in Gemini a lot of attributes from Virgo and you can see in Virgo a lot of attributes of Gemini. They're ruled by the same 
planet. Uh, the, the month of Virgo, it's called in Aramaic the month of Elul. This is, as I said, the month before the, the, new, the new year of the Kabbalistic New Year, which is the seed level for the whole year. We have 30 days. The month of Virgo, it's called the month to go back in time back in time, back to the future, right? You all know, most of you know the movie Back in the Future. What happened to the actor there? What happened to the main character? He needed to go back into the past in order to correct the future and to fix the future. This is the availability that we have this month. This is how powerful this month is. It's the sixth month in the Kabbalistic lunar calendar and it's the last one of the masculine month. As you know, we have the first six months of the year as the masculine one and the last from October to, de to December to, to, to again September for, is the last six months at the feminine one. So, Virgo is the last one of the first six months, the first masculine month. In this month, we have the ability and we have the possibility, of course, with the right consciousness, we have the ability to change the next six months. Can you believe how powerful is this month? It's a month of cleansing. It's a month that we can go back in the past and fix the future. It's a month that can fix and, and, and help uh, to a better destiny the next six months of the year. Is it not powerful all that? If we know it, if we, we, we use it, if we have the right consciousness, we can make it happen, my friends. We can make it happen. Whatever we want, it will happen, but with the right consciousness. To change, the, it's a really big opportunity to change the next six months. That we can use this month to take stock of ourselves, to identify our blockages. This is the month to do the accounting, right? To identify where we are blocked. What have we blocked? Where are we moving on, right? To identify our blockages and to, and to clean, to clean the house. What do you mean clean the house? I'm not saying on a, on a physical level, also of course on a physical level, but to clean the house, to clean the mind, to clean the house in the I'm talking about the mind, when sometimes it's very, very dusty with old uh, uh, thoughts, old pattern, old negative patterns, old negative thoughts, old negative things in life that it's become very dusty there. So this is the month that to do the big cleansing. The same way that in the time of Passover in April, we do a big spring cleansing in the house, like physical spring cleansing. This is the month, the month of September, the month of Elul. We do a big, I would say autumn cleansing, but in the consciousness. Let go, I know it's very, as I always say, I know it's very difficult, it's very easy to say and very difficult to do it, right? But this is the month, take the opportunity. It's like imagine every day of this month, every 30 days, every each of those 30 days that you have a machine, a little machine in your hand and you can push the buttons. And those buttons will take you back in time and will make you realize where was the blockage, what did you do wrong, how you can correct it and then come back to, 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 to your time now and release the future in a better way. Imagine this, this, this little machine in your hand, all the time in your hand, that simply by, by pushing the button and, you know, connecting to the right consciousness, you can go back, fix and move on. You know, how many of us, well, you know, I, I hear people say, oh, if I could go back in time and things and fix things, this is the time, my dear. This is the time to go back in time and fix things that we've done in the past in the wrong way, with the wrong consciousness or the wrong timing or whatever happened and it's blocking us here. Some people, as an example to give you, some people come to me for a chart, for example, and they ask, you know, why I'm not getting married? What happened? And this and that. And it's blocked for years and years. And it happened after in the conversation, 
that this person, when they were young, they had a heartbreak from a man and they make a vow never to marry again. So this vow is blocking them in the future as an example of a story. And so this month we have the power and we have the consciousness to go back in time, to dissolve the vow, to change things and to release the blockage in, in, the, in, in now, in, in this time and for the future. And you can adapt the story for anything that is blocking in your life. There is a blockage because there is a reason for the blockage. It doesn't, the blockage doesn't come, doesn't go like that. The light, God, the creator, whatever you call it, is not bad, it's just good. God, the creator, the universe just want to help us. If there is blockages, we created them. In this life, in past life, in childhood, what, whatever, doesn't matter when, we created those blockages. So we have the power, we have the gift, this month of Virgo, September, Elul, from the universe to correct it. It's very, very important. This month is called the month of repentance. This is the month of examination of our past, making amend of all our past mistakes. The energy of the month of Virgo offers us the opportunity to examine ourselves thoroughly, really, really deep, deep, deep inside like we never do. And this is the reason why the sign of Virgo, it has the power of purifying, to, of cleansing of the, the world and ourselves. It's not just to ask for ourselves. It's not just to cleanse for ourselves. It's also to ask and to pray for the whole world and view the situation of the, of the world now with the war, with the gas, the prices, the, you know, with whatever happened in the world, you know better than me, you know, in politics, in, in everything, you know, looking at the situation where the world really need our help and how by, by, by also by praying, which is a very, very powerful tool, tool, but also by changing ourselves, by, by, by disconnecting ourselves from limiting, from limitation, from, from, from limiting thoughts, from limiting actions, from thinking like the Virgo, I don't deserve, it's not for me. It's too good for me. I, you know, like, like, let's, let's work harder. Let's suffer harder. I'm not saying, you know, we suffer sometimes, yes, because of situation, but let's get out of it. Let's move on. Let's leave the past in the past. Let's disconnect and cut this umbilical cord to really, really a, a let us, you know, it's like sometimes we have the feeling that we're in the car, we push so hard on the accelerator and the car doesn't move. Why? Because the brakes is on. This month we have the power to release the brakes and as strong as we push the accelerator, this is how the car will jump forward and move on. No more string attached to the pass. So this is for the month of Virgo. So now <clears throat> we're going to talk about the sign of Virgo, right? So, as I said, the planet that ruled the sign of Virgo is the planet Mercury. The planet Mercury rule also the sign of Gemini. And we will speak also about the planet Mercury and what the power. The month of the sign of Virgo is the month of September. The internal energy of the sign of Virgo is air. Virgo is an earth sign, as you all know. But the internal energy, according to Kabbalistic astrology, is air. So it's air of earth. So it's the most intellectual sign of the earth group, right? This is why Virgo, as well as Gemini, think a lot, a lot. They love conversations. They love long conversations. They love to express themselves. They love to be, you know, in the middle of political conversation, a, a mundane conversation, and also... One thing which is not good, a lot of gossip. They love a good conversation about gossip. So be careful, my friends out there, because this month is very, very delicate. You don't want to be held back. You want to come, when you come to the new moon of Libra, which is the, 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 the most powerful new moon of the year, because it's, the, it's, it's, it's one of the most, because it's, the, it's the, uh, uh, the seed level for the new year, for the whole new year. From September, end of September to the next September, the Kabbalistic lunar year. 
So it's extremely powerful. And when you want to plant the seed, you want to plant the seed. You can have the best seed in your hand, the best in your world, and they can promise you that it will give the best fruit in the world. But if you plant it in the wrong place at the wrong time, even if the potential is to have the best fruit, it will not give you the best fruit because it's planted in the wrong time with the wrong consciousness or in the wrong place. So be careful this month. Virgo is the power of talking, the power of thought. It's Mercury. So be careful what you speak today, today and the whole month, what you speak uh, this month, how you think this month. And knowing the Virgo, they will think negative. They will think I don't deserve. They will put themselves down and others down. So knowing the, 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 the sign of Virgo, it's Virgo on, in some way they are very uncomplicated. Very, you know, like going with the flow, let's do things that are very, very, in some ways, they are very uncomplicated, but very demanding in others. For Virgo, they are extremely demanding. Demanding on themselves and demanding on others. What, whatever they ask themselves, whatever they push themselves to do, they expect the others to do. But it's not all, always the same case. It's not always the same energy with other signs, other people, and it's not always the same a, 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 a tremendous power behind the Virgo power also. They can be very great. They are very great partners and very grounded partners. Usually they are very, very mature partners. Very low, the point, the side effect of the Virgo, they have very low tolerance of people that are not enough intelligent, enough quick, enough motivated to have long conversations. They have very low tolerance and they really push them out or they look from a pedestal, you know, like you are nothing, I'm everything. They can have that. Can be very hard on themselves and very hard on others. Virgo main characteristic is their perpetual quest for order. Physical order, spiritual order, consciousness order in anything, in any way, in everything. They love a good, per a perfect list, a good clean house, a good, you know, uh, uh, stock things. They love to put everything in order. They are very responsible. They are very reliable and they make a point to finish any a, 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 a situation, a, a, a task that you give them, they make a point to finish it. Even if it's hard for them, even if they don't have time, even if they cannot, they really make a point to finish it. And it's an honor for them to complete everything. No other signs like Virgos, analytical, logical, and methodical capacities. They are amazing and expert in that. You want to put order in your life? Go to a Virgo. They'll make lists, they'll make time, they'll make uh, uh, choices, they'll make, so they give you solution, how to move on, how to create an older life, an older situation, an order in your company or in your closet or in your mind or in anywhere. Virgo thinks that the, the point for that, Virgo thinks that their ability to, uh, they had the abilities give them the permission to criticize others. And that's why my Virgo friends, Virgo sign, Virgo rising, Virgo moon, or a lot of Virgo in your chart, you are all affected this month. Be careful not to think you have the right to criticize others to judge others because you know it, because you are more intelligent or because you are more a, 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 a credential, you have more credential or because you are more a, 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 um, making older. No, no, no. Everyone is at the same level. Everyone going through hardship. Everyone, maybe someone is less older than the, or perfect than a Virgo. It doesn't mean that they have less pain or less hard situation. So you are not in the position to criticize others or to judge others. The only person that you need to, to, to fix this month and to really focus on is yourself. Virgos or any other sign, the only person that we can make a change, it's only ourselves. We can give advice to others. We can help others. We can show the way to others, but we cannot change them. 
change it's individual and according to the desire of the person that's what i'm saying guys this month it's a tremendous month the virgo sign is a tremendous sign as the sign of making order as the sign of being able is the only sign of all the other 11 signs that we can go back in the past fix the past and come back in real time and fix the future how unbelievable is that how amazing is that once we know this information we cannot not do it we cannot not use it so please open yourself open your mind open your ears open your eyes to see things that you never saw or you don't want to see or you push back inside this is the month of no covers let it out everything out remember you have stuck to your hand this little machine that gave you the ability to go back in the past every time that you close your eyes you do a meditation you can go back in the past this month past this life and past past life also how tremendous is that people will pay billions of dollars to have just this ability to go back in the past and to fix we have it it's in the universe it's revealed you just need to tap into this energy so it's very very important this month they test also some for Virgo also be careful because they tend to consider themselves above reproach they don't like people to give them reproach to give them uh, uh, to tell them uh, what to do or to tell them what's wrong in them because they think they are perfect or even if they don't think that you know how the, the paradox is with Virgo on one hand they think they are perfect they, they are on the pedestal and they, get, they, keep, they can criticize everyone and judge anyone and it's not a problem on the other side they have so much love esteem they have so much fears and they feel so bad on themselves that it can it can be very two extremes so be careful this month the key word for virgo is transformation and acceptance 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 of everything and anything and transformation you too virgo people need to change this month not the whole world around you but you too also needs to change fears for virgo is the fear of not being perfect and not being loved not being accepted that's why the the key word for for virgo is acceptance and the point the correction for that it's accept virgo people moon virgo rising virgo people that have a lot of virgo in their chart accept and all of us are, are in the same time accept the process of being hurt people virgo people they don't like the pain they cannot handle the pain it's too much for them that's why they immune themselves of the pain they don't want to change they don't they, they criticize others they say to others they want to change the whole world but not themselves so when you came to 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 and we have by the way uh, it's come to my mind a very very beautiful example here with Monica Berg which is he, she's a Virgo and she accepted the change she accepted the challenge and she changed herself and continued she called herself a changed junkie you know for those of you who, who doesn't know her I recommend you to go on kabbalah.com or on the podcast spirituality hungry and she speak about changes and and taking you know a spiritual challenge upon her and changing and helping the whole world she's the 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 the, the director of the kabbalah center worldwide with her husband uh, Michael Berg so so this is a perfect example of a Virgo that want to change so this is the month that we need to accept to being of being hurt it's okay to feel pain it's okay to being hurt it's okay to go through the pain in order not to go through the pain just to suffer in order to change if there is not the the consciousness that the purpose that I'm hurt and I'm going through the pain is because I want to change so there is no point to being hurt and no point to accept the pain so this is the consciousness behind so so and the, the one uh, another uh, uh, idea of the correction of Virgo is adapt to situation adapt to change it Virgo doesn't like to change they don't like to, to all because they're afraid of changes they're afraid of being hurt they're afraid of going to, through the pain or of not of being rejected of not being loved so they don't want changes so this is the month of adapt to change of adapt of accepting the, the the process of being hurt so let go 
Virgo people and all the other Virgo energy. Let go of criticism, of judgment, of too much details and too much superiority. You know, sometimes Virgo can be lost into all those little details. You know, it's like Virgo compared to a lion, you know, to Leo, the, the sign before. You put a beautiful tablecloth, white tablecloth on the table, the Leo will say, wow, it's so beautiful. The Virgo will say, oh, there is a little spot on the, on the, on the whole white tablecloth. That it's good. They see what others don't see. But don't get lost in it. Don't get too much into those details. Remember, this is a month and this is a sign that gives us to the whole world the ability to go back in the past, to fix, to change and to come back in the future completely new. I recommend you to ask questions, to really, really be honest with yourself. Take half hour every day and write down what do you want to change? What do you commit to change? Where are you blockages? Where did you hurt someone and, and you didn't ask for forgiveness? Where did you hurt yourself and you, and you didn't want to change? Like write down every day, half hour and go through the process. What do you commit to change for this year? Those all the questions that you need to ask yourself and really answer them this month. The, 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 uh, and I will, be, I will talk more about it in the new moon of Virgo this week. Also, the work choice for Virgo, like choices for Virgo, they are very excellent writers. They are copy editors, surgeon, accountant, lawyers, all these, it's good for Virgo. Of course, it's not a must for Virgo, but it's good for the Virgo people. In a relationship with Virgo, as I always say, talking about the sign, we need to be very patient with a Virgo, very, very patient. Don't react to a Virgo short fuse. Don't, because if you react, you go, you, you're going to get into these uh, patterns and it's very difficult to go out from there. So don't react in a relationship to a, sometimes the Virgo has a short fuse. They, 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 they appeal to the appeal. It's very important to appeal to the sense of logic in order to help them see the, 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 the big picture. Virgo usually don't see the big picture. They see Excellent, the details, but don't see the big picture. So once you talk to them in a logic way, they will listen and they will, you know, a, 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 a connect the big picture out there. Need to always give them compliment in the relationship. Always, not too much, not too overwhelmed, not to make them feel embarrassed or, or feel that it's not real, but all a, a good compliment, well placed. It will make the day of a Virgo uh, a partner. Okay? And the last one, start your sentence by I feel. Because Virgo, it's emotions. So start your sentence by I feel. And it's emotion, but it's also very logic. So you want to connect them to the, emo to the emotional side and not just to the logic side. Okay? So now we coming to the planet Mercury, the one that rules Virgo, which, by the way, also rules Gemini, as I said. So, what about and what's a, a, a efficient in the planet Mercury and what's, you know, unique in that planet? The planet Mercury is a planet of communication, is the planet of knowledge, is the planet of, is the relationship, it represents the relationship between two people the planet Mercury. It represents the planet of messenger. It, 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 it moves, the planet Mercury moves very, very quickly. It, it, it represents, you know, in the Greek mythology, represent Apollo and his brother Hermes. Uh, the two brothers represent the planet Mercury. That's why in the chart also, when you want to look at brothers or sisters, you look at the planet Mercury, the position, the signs, the aspects and everything to know more about the brothers and the sisters. It represents the brother and the sisters. 
the, the, the planet Hermi, also the sorry, the, the, the brother Hermi in the Greek mythology, it was the only god that could have a, 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 that could a, a, a go in and out of the of the of the world, which is very important. It was very important at that time. A, a, a never the planet Mercury never is tw more f than 28 degrees from the sun. Is the closest planet to the sun. Not by coincidence also, Virgo is right after Leo, which is the sun, the ruler of Leo. And Mercury is the ruler of Virgo. So Virgo has a very, very important uh, energy here because it's never far from, to this, from the sun. Never far. And by the way, in a Kabbalistic astrology also, Virgo gives the, 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 the information to the sun, to Leo. Okay, like like in the chart, you want to know what what's happening with 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 the son of the person and what happened. Look at Virgo, and they give the communication to the sun. So Virgo is give, and it depends where Mercury is. That's how they give, and how if Mercury is in Gemini, so it's in own sign. It's in, if Virgo is in own sign, the information will pass to the sun very quick. If it's if it's in Pisces, so Mercury is very very uh, spiritual, and and the information will be like from a, from a spiritual and emotional point of view. If Mercury is in Capricorn, so it's very logic, very down to earth, and so on and so on. So. Mercury is never 20, more than 28 degrees from the sun. That's why sometimes in the chart also we call about the Mercury combusted because it's too much uh, next to the sun and we don't see Mercury anymore because it's like, it's like in, you know, inside the, 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 the energy around the sun. So it's very difficult sometimes to locate Mercury uh, when it's too close to the sun, which is why it's in combusted. Mercury also, as you know, goes retrograde a few times a year, usually three times sometimes four times with different uh, uh, aspects in the chart, but Mercury go retrograde. As you know, so it's an optical uh, uh, illusion, of course. Mercury, the, the planet itself, doesn't go back. It's just the optical illusion from Earth that we feel, that we see, that it go back. And it's a time for us, like the same the, in the month of Virgo, the month of, Vir of Mercury, when Mercury retrograde, it's a time for us to go back, fix and come back. So it's a shorter time because it's a, it's only three it's only you know Mercury retrograde three week it retrograde sta, you know stationary retrograde and then move a, a straight so it's a shorter time but this now we have a whole month of being able to really really go back and fix things Mercury also it's how our mind work and the, how we process information. It's all about the mind, right? How we evaluate things, represent brothers and sisters, as I say. Mercury is the first planet from the sun and the eighth largest, okay, in this, in this solar system. In Roman mythology, Mercury was the god of trade and profit. So merchant, you know, merchant and travelers. With Mercury, we always want to, you know, they always travel, merchant, do business, count money. That's why it's good for them to be accounted or, 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 or you know, like doctors, surgeon, lawyers, everything that needs a very big detail-oriented career. And, and is the, the god of trade. So when we want to know business, if it's good or not, let's look at Mercury. So angel the angel as we, we usually do angels for virgo is the angel haniel please use him as much as you can this month every day a few times a day this is so much a powerful month that we need the help any help that we can get to in our consciousness to change we need that every word haniel will help us every word we speak Every action we perform, it's a boomerang in the universe. If we, you know, send the boomerang, it will come back to us. So if we send negative, it will come back, God forbid, negative. If we send positive, it will come back positive. So be careful this month. What you think, what you say, how you say it, to who you say it, in every way of the term of the sentence. Be careful. This month, remember, it's like a boomerang effect. 
Whatever you put out there, it will come back to you. Bad, good, not good, normal, balance, whatever, it will come back to you. This is the rules of the universe, this is the law of the universe. The, and this angel, Haniel, will help us and transform the negative into the positive and get back just positive. Because we want to go to the past, fix everything, and really come back and, and be more positive and more, you know, uh, inspirational. The 72 name that connect to the sign of Virgo is the, the, the word Yud Lamed He, which means sweetening judgment. Of course, we want to sweeten our judgment. This is the month where the process of being judged in one month is starting. Imagine you have a court case, God forbid, and we need to be judged on the new moon of Libra, which is the Kabbalistic New Year. So we have the whole month to fix our case before getting to the judge, before getting to the big, big, big head of judge, we have the whole month. The light, the universe, the creator, whatever you call it, give us a chance to fix our case this whole month, 30 days to fix our case. And when we come to the court on the big day, we are clean and there is nothing to, to sue us for or to put us uh, down for. So this is, you have 30 days when you have very hard work and you need to be very busy just correcting yourself, not others, just yourself. But yes, give love to others, give help to others, give advice to others, 100% yes. But the correction is just with yourself. So Yud Lamed He is sweetening judgment. Ask for help in the overcoming, the, to overcome the need to correct and control others. That's what we, we always fall. Oh yes, I know the solution. I will correct them. I will control them. I will tell them what to do. The only person that you need to correct is yourself. The people that you need to help, you can advise them and help them. But the people that you need to correct is just yourself. And to finish the class, the last but not the least, is the house, the sixth house, where Virgo sits in the chart, right? The, this house, the sixth house is the house of Virgo. It represents the health of the person, represents the food, represents the workers, represents the service to others. It's so important, that house, how we are in service for others, how we can help others, not control and not, you know, abuse them and not judge or criticize them service to others, le, 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 to really find that way of helping others without controlling them, without telling them what to do. Just give them advice and direction, and then it's their free will to listen and to do it. So this house is a very important house in the, in the chart, the sixth house. The, it represents also the everyday life, represent the house of work, represent medicine, represent, you know, health, as I said, and all these kind of things. So this is it for today. I hope we, we uh, covered all the Virgo treats and, uh, you know, and, and the month of Virgo. And I'll see you next time for a very important month, which will be the month of Libra and the beginning of the Kabbalistic New Year. Thank you and goodbye.